me introduce you to Tom, a very happy five-year-old with a perfect pink, smooth, healthy liver. A vital organ, our liver, but it also collects excess fats in the body. So I met Tom again after seven years sitting on the couch eating chocolate and chips, and that caused his liver to look like this. Fatty, inflamed, scarred. This is the number one liver disease in children in our modern world. And two out of ten children with such a liver will die within ten years. In a few years, Tom's liver will fail, and I cannot solve it. I have no medicine, no treatment, nothing but to give him a new liver. And we don't have enough livers. And Tom knows he must change, but when he looks in the mirror, this is what he sees. No, nobody will help me. I cannot change. Too difficult. And his parents, yes, they feel guilty, but they don't want to be blamed for being bad parents. And that demotivates them to seek for help. And you? What do you feel when you look at Tom? Do you feel judgmental about the chocolate, the chips, and his parents? And of course, this is not your responsibility. He should do some sport. How many of you recognize that feeling? You are not alone. You are not alone. We all feel judgmental about overweight children. We all feel this paralyzing cross of resistance. It, it seems like a mission impossible to make a change. But when I look at Tom, I see a child with future dreams of being a rock star. But I also see a liver transplant at 20, a diabetic feet at 30, a cardiac arrest at 40, and his child growing up without a father. And I'm not pessimistic. Sorry, this is reality. And it's not their sorrow. The problem is not their obesity. The problem is our lifestyle. Diabetes, cardiac disease, Alzheimer, stroke, cancer, asthma, all are influenced by our lifestyle, obese or not. This is my reason to break through the cross of resistance. I want Tom and every child to live a healthy life. And I will fight for that. And you? Will you fight for our children, our future? Of course you will. Then break through resistance. And then our natural impulse is to fight against something we see, the kilos. Obese children, it's war against weight. This really looks ridiculous, I know. <laughs> and it is. Fighting childhood obesity is denial of the real problem, our lifestyle. If we fight them, blame them, they will fight back, run away, or just give up. So we have to change the feeling of a mission impossible, not into a fight against the kilos, but into a mission, a mission to build a healthy future. And for building, we need a tool. And of course, now you want to hear from me that I found this tool. I call it the one screwdriver tip solution. One tool to solve a number one health problem. And the most used tool is simple advice. Eat less, move more, go home, lose weight. And Tom goes home. And his dad shouts from the couch, Tom, do some sport, you heard what the doctor said. And mom takes him to the soccer training, by car. And his trainer takes one look at him and puts him in the goal. After one hour in the goal, he's on his way to see grandmom, and he goes into his shop to buy a bottle of water. Good. But the chocolate at the cash deck looks, looks so good, and it's such a good offer. 
Back on the street, children call him a loser. Grandma picks up that he's upset, and she gives him a big hug and a piece of chocolate cake that will cheer him up. Back home, he immerses himself into a computer game. At least that's one place where he can be a hero. It's two o'clock already. He needs to sleep, and the cookie jar is empty anyway. He feels bad about today, about himself. He is a loser. We have heard hundreds of different stories in our center. There is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Not one diet, not one pill, not one magic bullet. Not for being healthy, for being happy, for, for raising a child, for finding the right partner, nor for childhood obesity or for changing lifestyle. Forget that there will be a quick fix. But we all searched for it. Doctors, scientists, dietitians, And we all made our own screw tip for our screw. But we need them all. And often we, we, we use them all, but in a way as if it is war. Shoot, bombard families with all advice, all knowledge, all tools at once. Even without looking at the screws, the problems, the possibilities. And this attack misses its target. People run away and the small effects are gone in no time. But the good thing is, we have this beautiful set of tools now. Now we have to use them effectively. Listen carefully first, without our judgments, and then turn the right screws. We have worked for this for a while now, and it works. People don't run away, and disease risks are lower in the children. It really works, but we are not there yet. Our toolbox is half full, and the toolbox is half empty. And this empty half is the final solution, and this empty half is you. The saying is, it takes a village to raise a child. And indeed, we need the whole village to save Tom from a liver transplant, and Sarah from diabetes, and John from a stroke, and Janet from colon cancer. Grandmoms who give an extra hack instead of a cake. You are the greatest. Shop owners who put healthy food for a real good offer, you are the best. Teachers, trainers who encourage all children to participate in sports, it really helps, thank you, to reach out a hand and pull, but don't push. And you? How will you change lifestyle? Believe me, you can all be the next screwdriver tip to fill this box. Don't wait for the magic bullet. We are the magic bullet. Today, in your lunchbox, you will find this. So you remember that you can be part of the solution. I, as a doctor, cannot solve this. But you, you can be the cure. Thank you.